Well, first of all, I think all students, but especially students that are, feel like they're directly impacted. And, and regrettably, you know, a lot of us know somebody that's impacted, even if it's not in your immediate circle of family. It's in our circle of, of life. Uh, the most important thing is to know that they're supported here at our university. I did send out another message to faculty and staff uh, after the message that went out on Tuesday, reminding them of all of the resources that are available so that faculty and staff often have close contact with students so that there can be some uh, guiding guidance. And here are resources that are available to you. Some that come from the university in our counseling center, international services, has a lot of the direct resource support for DACA students in particular. Uh, there's uh, wellness services for employees that, that need support, and then a whole range of our our mobile unit that's still for health care purposes. That's available for all students, including DACA students. So we want students to know that they're welcome here. Uh, and to really understand the intricacies of the law and what their options are under the intricacies of the law. And then to be clear that if you're watching the news, that Congress has indicated their commitment to find a solution, and that remains to be seen, as we well know. But we stand behind all of our students in the support they need to be successful here at A&M. And so I don't want people to go into the shadows. We want people to know that, that there, there's a place here for them.